Hello Keto family, it's a beautiful day down here in South Louisiana. My name is Barry and I am the Cajun Keto Chef. Today it's going to be pretty exciting. A lot of the people from my last YouTube video, they said, Barry, tell us a little bit about the difference between Cajun and Creole. So that's what we're going to talk about today. So a lot of people that I've come in contact with over the years say it's a tomato, right? Only a tomato. Well, there's some truth to that, but not 100%. You will find in Cajun land where they live off the land, they fish, they trapped, and did, you know, pretty much is rustic. Now the Creoles on the other hand, they were the city slickers. They had access to a lot more that the Cajuns didn't have. They had refrigeration, they had butter. One of the largest ports, international ports in the world was in New Orleans. So they had access to a lot more stuff, more refined cooking, opposed to the more ru rustic cooking in Cajun land. You think about a jambalaya, and if you're in Gonzales, which is the capital jambalaya place of the world, they have a brown jambalaya. You jump over to New Orleans, you're gonna find more of a tomato base. It's gonna be reddish. They're both delicious, but they're definitely different. Same thing with gumbo. If you see a roux and the gumbo is, is brown or dark brown, you're gonna find that's a Cajun uh, gumbo. If you're in New Orleans, you're gonna have some tomato base, maybe some okra. So they definitely have a little bit of difference, but they're both delicious. So if you find a roux is made with uh, canola oil or some type of oil, you'll typically find out that that's a Cajun roux. And it's not gonna have what the Creoles usually make it with, and that's butter. And I personally have been enjoying the Creole roux much more than the Cajun. And it's because on keto, we use different products, different ingredients, and I find that butter adds a little bit more of that nutty flavor, that toasty flavor that we really enjoy. So watch my video on roux. I have uh, the Cajun roux and I have the Creole roux. And we're gonna leave the links to both of those. So this leads us to the next part, and that is the difference between a Cajun seasoning and a Creole seasoning. So let's rock and chop and let's hit the recipe. All right, so let's go over the recipe for the Cajun seasoning. The first ingredient is gonna be two tablespoons paprika. And from here on out, everything's gonna be a tablespoon. Pretty simple. So we got garlic, one tablespoon, black pepper, onion powder, cayenne, oregano, and last but not least, thyme. Look how beautiful that looks, my friends. And we're gonna stir it up a little bit and we'll be ready to hit the kitchen table with some awesome Cajun seasoning. All right, so let's go over the Creole seasonings. So as you can see, there's a lot more ingredients to it, and that's mainly because New Orleans had more access to international spices than the Cajuns obviously did. So let's go over the ingredients. So the first one is paprika. So we have three tablespoons paprika, and, it's, and you'll notice that we'll have a tablespoon for everything. Two and a half tablespoons of salt, and that's pink Himalayan salt. Two tablespoons of smoked paprika. So we got that one in there. Two tablespoons of garlic powder. Two tablespoons of onion powder. Two tablespoons of basil. And now we're getting to the one tablespoon ingredients. And that is one tablespoon of thyme. And now we're getting into the peppers. We got one tablespoon of each of black, white, and cayenne. And that's it. Simple as that, my friends. We got this sucker conquered. Now you can bring this to your kitchen table and all your friends can enjoy what we enjoy here in Louisiana. So what I wanna make sure you, you understand is I've been blessed by the Cajun spirits, right? Guess what? Do you want to be blessed by the Cajun Spirits? If you do, make sure you subscribe. You become a family member of me. Share this with all your friends because I promise you, 
they are going to enjoy bringing this Cajun Creole keto recipes straight to your house. Love you all. Goodbye.